गोवा में लोकसभा के जो चुनाव हो जाने वाले हैं इसमें भाजपा भी तरफ से उत्तर गोवा दक्षिण गोवा में हमारे जो दोनों प्रत्याशी खड़े हैं वो दोनों जीत जाएंगे ऐसा हमें पूरा विश्वास है मैं खुद पिछले कुछ दिनों में बहुत सारे राज्यों में चुनाव प्रचार के लिए गया हूँ आज सुबह ही मैं दोपहर को ही मैं कर्नाटक से आया कल वापस महाराष्ट्र जा रहा हूँ वहाँ से पश्चिम बंगाल सब जगह है काफ़ी राज्यों में गया हर जगह पर हमें एक बहुत ही लोगों की एक स्ट्रांग कमिटमेंट दिखाई दे रही है कि इस बार दोबारा नरेंद्र मोदी जी को प्रधानमंत्री बनाना है भाजपा की एन की एक स्ट्रांग सरकार देश देश में दोबारा चुनी है ऐसा लोगों की एक विश्वास लोगों का एक कमिटमेंट बन गया है इसकी वजह है कि पिछले पाँच सालों में देश में जिस तरह से विकास की एक नई पहल चलाई गई उसकी वजह से लोगों को उसका अनुभव हुआ है उसे लोग चाहते हैं कि इस साल दोबारा नरेंद्र मोदी जी प्रधानमंत्री बनने चाहिए आर्थिक स्थिति आप देखेंगे तो पिछले पाँच साल में उसमें आमूलाग्र बदल हुआ इन्फ्लेशन हैज ड्रॉप कंसिडेबली ग्रोथ रेट हैज पिकड अप एंड इंडिया हैज अर्न अ रेपुटेशन ऑफ बींग द फास्टेस्ट गोइंग लार्ज इकोनॉमी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इट इज ऑल्सो एविडेंट बाय द फैक्ट दैट इंडिया इज रिकॉर्डेड द हाइएस्ट एवर एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ मर्चेंडाइज ऑफ एटलीस्ट थ्री थर्टी बिलियन डॉलर्स एंड सर्विस एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ एटलीस्ट टू हंड्रेड टेन बिलियन डॉलर एग्रीगेटिंग टू फाइव हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी बिलियन डॉलर ऑफ टोटल एक्सपोर्ट विच इज द हाइएस्ट एवर रिकॉर्डेड इन इंडिया हिस्ट्री दिस इज इन द बैकड्रॉप ऑफ द वर्स्ट एवर ग्लोबल क्लाइमेट फॉर इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड द प्रोटेक्शन इज इज ग्रोइंग कंट्रीज आर टू पुट बैरियर्स एंड डिस्पाइट दैट इंडिया हैज रिकॉर्डेड इज हाइएस्ट एवर ग्रोथ रेट Our exports to China, which is of concern to all of us, has been a raging debate all over the country for many many years. India's exports to China have increased substantially, and trade deficit with China has gone down by 10 billion dollars, which is unprecedented, and the quantum itself is huge and significant. Same way, in the last five years, we have invested huge amounts of money into infrastructure. which is road sports railways highways everything in railways our total investment in railways in the first 70 years after independence was 3 lakh crores all put together aggregate investment for 70 years was 3 lakh crores i have presented the first full budget of the modi government and i said 8 lakh 54000 crores will be invested in the railways and we will most probably even surpass that over the next few years for a simple reason is that any capital expenditure particularly for a organization railways it picks up only in the second and the third year because first year you cannot invest more than say 10 15% and therefore the quantum of investment in railways has significantly improved resulting in the highest ever track renewal which has resulted into better safety for railways it has resulted in highest ever track expansion electrification has improved considerably giving us a benefit of 41000 crores will save on energy bill in railways in the next 10 years and in the first 3 years or the first 4 years we are not only exceeded but we have done more than half of that in terms of saving so railway is a shining example in which we could also provide amenities to the people like free wifi food on your seat to e catering cleaning coach the kind of complete redressal mechanism which is unprecedented anywhere in the world same is the story for all infrastructure on social front narendra modi government launched several programs for social security for healthcare for improvement of standards of living of the people 
and that again has resulted into improvement of our social indices. In terms of business climate, our ease of doing business has improved to 77 from as low as 140. And I am sure the amount of effort that we put in should be in first 50s by the time the next ranking will be announced. So over a period of time, business environment, social issues, infrastructure, economic environment has improved considerably, which people have experienced themselves. And therefore I was saying, people are committed to vote Narendra Modi back to power. On national security, this is a government which stands out in terms of ensuring that we provided security in terms of internal security as well as security at our borders. Whenever there has been an instance where it was threatened, we have we uncompromisingly we have retaliated and taken stern action against the perpetrators. And therefore, we can be very confident of saying that people have experienced all-round growth, not just in social and economic sphere, but also in terms of security and safety, which is an extremely important aspect even for economic development. The international standing of Modi government has, or personally Narendra Modi, has enhanced to such an extent that all over the world people have recognized his huge contribution and given him the highest civilian awards in those countries, whether it's Russia, whether it's Saudi Arabia, or whether it's United Arab Emirates. We can also very proudly say that as a result of this, last five years have been one of the exemplary five years for any government since independence. But we would like to embark upon more ambitious task and we want to make a new India, which is what we mean by new India is, wherein social disparity will disappear, economic development will take to such an extent that everybody will be able to live life with dignity. Elderly people will also be taken care of through social security mechanism, environmental issues and all other aspects of natural capital management will be dealt with with the highest possible standards. And therefore, we have seen this and I am very sure that Prime Minister Modi will be again the Prime Minister to complete this huge task of building a new India in the next few years time. Goa is one of the most important states as far as we are concerned. Personally for me, I have a unique place for Goa in my own heart. And therefore I consider, though not elected from Goa anytime, I feel Goa is my home state and I therefore want to do as much as possible for the state. We feel that development of any state, including Goa, should happen in such a way that it should benefit the people of that state first. So Goa's development is Goa's development. If you cannot develop Goa, independent of Goa's development. And what is that Goa's development would be? Today, the livelihood of people is very important. And livelihood of Goans is dependent on three or four major sectors. One is mining. Second, tourism. Third, fisheries. And therefore, we would like to make sure that Goa can be developed by development of these sectors in a manner that would be the most sustainable way. Mining can be done in a manner that does not compromise with any environment. Ecotourism can be promoted in a way that will not create any adverse footprint on the good ecology of Goa as well as fisheries can be done in similar way. We already proposed to the Japanese and the Koreans and the Chinese that they should set up processing plants in state of Goa so that value addition of marine product export can happen in Goa. For that, we had come out with the agriculture export policy which targets to take exports from agriculture, horticulture, fisheries, meat and dairy to $100 billion over the period of next few years time. All of that will benefit Goa immensely. So I told you about fisheries, I told you about tourism and mining. Agriculture is also one of the most important part of Goa's economy and therefore we would like to develop that as well by bringing in agriculture export as one of the thrust areas for Goa's future development. For which the new airport which is going to come up we are already thinking and logistic is under me to find out how logistic can be the driver for Goa's economy because of the entire west coast, right from Kerala to Maharashtra, it is very important that we must have logistic hubs on east coast as well as the west coast because normally 
the marine the maritime trade drives the global economy and for which logistic will be the backbone of that therefore goa again can immensely benefit from development of logistic hub in goa and therefore we would like to do that as well we want to bring in for youth of goa the startups i am very happy to say on 6th of december last year only 4 months ago we had started the first ever round table of global funds which came to goa for startup because we feel startups would be the new engine of growth to meet the aspirations of youth of goa and does not damage environment of any kind so we can create economic opportunities new jobs but without compromising the beauty of goa and if for startup we like to do it i also decided and already announced that we'll set up every year a annual startup festival in goa where in top players from the world could come here and they again will add to jobs in goa so we are a very comprehensive holistic forward looking and a comprehensive strategy for goa's development i sure that this strategy will take care of each and every segment of goa and therefore i was saying we don't want to develop goa which does not benefit the goans so if goans are benefiting and their development takes place we don't have to plan a separate study for goas develop and therefore i am very happy to say that even the railways i am very happy to say that when i used to talk to my dear friend unfortunately i am this is my first visit i came for the funeral of course but it is the first visit when he is not there but the last 40 years whenever i come here i used to meet my dear friend manohar parikar he told me once that now i don't know what to ask you because everything that i didn't even ask you you are given for the railway so goa got everything even in aviation infrastructure we are trying to create everything that is possible even in commerce and industry the present portfolio that i hold we also done that in a very significant way so i am very sure that goa will continue to receive our full attention of the central government i mean mr modi will form the next government again after 23rd of may so we really look forward to goans also reposing their confidence in the two candidates and elect them as the next members of parliament i must put on record a great contribution of my dear friend shripad naik he has done exemplary work as a member of parliament as well as as a minister of ayush in that capacity the amount of proliferation of all ayush activities that has happened globally i must say that you are candidate you are member of parliament has been responsible for it so you should be proud of the fact that a fellow goan has done so much for the country in terms of ayush development even the other candidate a member of parliament from south goa he also has taken part though if he was not a minister but in member of parliament he has also done a significant work in the last 5 years so that deserves another term for both of them and i'm sure goans will give them the full support more votes than the last election and continue to have this unending long enduring partnership with goa and bjp we feel that goa has a unique place in our heart and we like to develop goa in a way that we feel goa's beauty should not be damaged at the same time aspirations of people should be fully taken care of so i wish all the best to you i know i am requesting you as journalist my wife also is a journalist so i would only say that why journalist must spread this message but also you being voters yourself i am sure you will also vote for bjp so we really look forward to doing that and your votes will be more valuable so i really count on them looking forward to that thank you very much टेस्टिंग लैब सुरू कराया एक विचार होता जो फॉर्मेलिन का इशू जाबल का ही घड़े है का जागतिक स्टेटस का है जागतिक जो इश्यू सुधा होता माशां कि तुम्हें एक घोषणा के लिए होती कि फूड टेस्टिंग लैब सुरू कराया जागतिक दर्जा जी गोव्यालो मराठी संग कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री मिनिस्ट्री मध्य 
अनेक मरीन प्रोडक्ट्स त्याच्यासाठी मरीन प्रॉडक्ट एक्सपोर्ट डेव्हलपमेंट एजन्सी आहे ॲग्रिकल्चर प्रॉडक्ट त्यासाठी एक्सपोर्ट प्रॉडक्ट डेव्हलपमेंट अपिडा एक्सपोर्ट प्रॉडक्ट डेव्हलपमेंट एजन्सी या दोन्ही एजन्सी जेव्हा काही माल परदेशात निर्यात करतात तेव्हा जे आयातर देश असतात त्यांची स्वाभाविक अपेक्षा असते की त्याची गुणवत्ता काय क्वालिटी काय आणि ती जाणून घेण्यासाठी प्री शिपमेंट क्वालिटी कंट्रोल केला जातो ज्या संस्थेने ती लॅबोरेटरी तिकडे उघडली आहे मडगावला ज्याची तुम्ही आता मला विचारताय ती लॅबोरेटरी ह्या संस्थेने उभारली आहे की ज्याचं सर्टिफिकेट जगातले जपान कोरिया अमेरिका युरोपसारखे देश मान्य करतात त्यामुळे त्यांनी ही लॅबोरेटरी तिकडे उघडलेली आहे त्यामुळे त्या लॅबोरेटरीला जर उद्या गोवा सरकारने कोणाला काय शंका असेल क्वालिटी काय कशी काय फिश आता दुर्दैवाने मी मासे खात नाही त्यामुळे मला मासेच्या क्वालिटीबद्दल तुम्हाला काही सांगता येणार नाही कारण नुसते इज नॉट आय आय कॅन ओनली वॉच नुसते बट नॉट इट नुसते त्यामुळे त्याची क्वालिटी काय ते खाऊन कळण्यासाठी मी काय तुम्हाला सांगू शकणार नाही परंतु लॅबॉरेटरीमध्ये त्याची टेस्टिंग करण्यासाठी इट्स दिस द इन्स्टिट्यूट विच आर स्टार्टेड इज लॅबॉरेटरी ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड आय हॅड कम फॉर द इनॉग्रेशन अगेन आय कुड नॉट टेस्ट इट अनफॉर्च्युनेटली आय शुड टेकन यू विथ मी Yeah, I can see you, but I cannot hear. Ajay, tell me. Yeah, the central government has given the demonetization and exercise of food success across the country. But considering that you know hundreds of crores uh, are being uh, being uh, seized by the election commission agencies right, in a lot of the elections, do you think a fresh round of demonetization is required so that even this black money is protected? Uh, you know, our government is fully committed. <coughs> to eradicate black money from the economy. You ask about black money, right? No, I'm asking whether another round of demonetization is required to finally nail all black money. No, no, I know. I'm just telling you that. Yes, You're also wearing a black shirt, so I'm telling you. <laughs> so, er eradication of black money is a total commitment of a government. So, black money it generated through various forms so one type of intervention that is necessary is to make systemic changes which will not generate black money to begin with for example if you bring in complete transparency in the governance it will avoid black money generation international trade we are now trying to make completely paperless but also completely transparent that you can operate so with the project already started we are given a contract of i think more than 1800 crores or something to tcs to make that happen so once you make one part is transparency that should be brought in into the entire business operation so that will avoid this i will give another example if you want when the railway minister i told you 8 lakh 50 crores budget be created but not a single rupee tender is to come to me i said it should be done transparently and then we set up a system where even payment has to go to the vendors account directly it doesn't have to come to the office to collect the check so this is one way of dealing with it the second way is certain transactions that take place maybe in real estate property or some other places how to bring more transparency to that that is another issue but thirdly course wherein if somebody has the black money generated already or in the process of doing that then the agency should work in such a way coercive way which will ensure that a worse punitive action will prevent and bring in that fear that so people will not like to create black money so we are committed to do everything we are also identifying the source of black money and taking this action those who are holders of black money we are trying to take action against them but that is b means i don't take it it's a agency job to do it so i have no knowledge about how they do it because agency don't work under me but i am saying the commitment political will of the government is to get rid of this big menace of black money is complete and total if you have any suggestion as to we can do it there have been many many uh, committees which have gone into it but it is the first government which acted on it rather than appointing another committee so we have taken that measure which itself demonstrates our deep commitment to eradicate black money 
Sorry? He says that the demonetization is worked once and kick the, the, the Kaam Karna. See, I, will, I will not be able to comment on that. I am just saying that what are the measures required will depend upon time to time. This was one measure which was aimed at taking care of black. I will not, I will not be able to tell you whether we need one more or something. That depends upon time to time. But I am telling you, a commitment on the part of the government is total to take as many measures as necessary, however difficult they may be, whatever political cost one has to pay for it, we are willing to do it as long as we succeed in ensuring that India becomes a transparent economy. Because the black money is the biggest enemy of the poor people. They suffer the most as a result of that. So we have to take care of it. Sir, the major issue today in Goa is mining. You have been seized of this matter and you have given some assurances to the alliance partners in the past. Uh, right now, even the center hasn't been able to give any assurance or any solution to this issue, which is going to hit. Do you think this is going to hit the BJP in the coming elections? Mining? Mining. 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 You know, as you know, see, I don't want to tell you about history, what could have been done, what should have been done, is all that is past, unfortunately. But the fact of the matter is that stop mining, the stopping of mining has one is economic cost, but other most importantly the social cost. That economic cost can be measured very easily in terms of loss of GDP, loss of revenue to the government, loss of profit, whatever it is. But more important for me is the social cost. That people dependent on mining had to suffer innumerable miseries as a result of that. And therefore, we are fully committed to do that. As what, therefore, again I am saying, solution can be legal, can be administrative, can be legislative. So we will look into all possible aspects, the new government will do it with working with the local government. You will not believe it, how many times I must have a discussion with the previous Chief Minister Madhav Parikar. In fact, one of the last letter that he wrote to the Prime Minister, I was in that meeting, when he wrote about what could be the solution for solving the mining problem. So we are fully committed to that. I don't want to tell you today, on the eve of the election, what could be the solution. But a new government, I will tell you, will definitely work towards finding an enduring solution to the problem, purely and necessarily and largely for the social aspect of it, taking into account the miseries that people are suffering from it. I know some people who have borrowed money from the bank are not able to repay it. Some of them, the marriages that we postpone, so it's a real issue. We are, it's a human issue. We want to deal with it from that possible angle. That would be the motivation for us to address it. Sir, but isn't a one year of, uh, a lot of a time to actually resolve one issue? Sorry? Is one year not an adequate time to resolve the issue? I think, you know, we would like to do it as early as possible. In fact, I have personally met, I had nothing to do with this, only considering this human cost of it and all these people who are dependent on mining also is to meet me. So I have had a number of meetings with all colleague ministers. I think we will try to solve it as early as possible. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.